Hello. How many of you have devices that are connected to the internet? Well, looks like the entire room. But have you ever stopped to wonder what happens in one minute on the internet? Let me give you a glimpse. 3.7 million Google searches, 4.3 million YouTube videos, and 186 million emails are sent, all in one minute. So where exactly is all this data stored? Well, data is stored in huge facilities called data centers located all over the world. And in 2016, these data centers consumed energy greater than the entire United Kingdom. So as you know, data is stored in bits of ones and zeros, and every bit occupies a certain amount of space. And the first hard disk drive had a mere capacity of five megabytes, which is equal to one song. And as technology improved, more and more data could be stored in the same amount of space by squeezing the area that the bits occupied. Now, the bits have been squeezed together so much that the storage technology can no longer be improved this way. So what is the result? To build more and more data centers, and that's exactly what's happening. And research indicates that by 2030, these data centers will consume energy equal to that of Europe, Africa, and much of Asia. I propose to break this wall using vertical stacking. By stacking the bits one on top of the other, I can store much more data in the same amount of space. I achieve this using cylindrical nanowires with a unique magnetic composition, thus resulting in multiple bits in a vertical fashion. So here is a sample. This sample is the size of a euro coin, and this sample contains billions of magnetic nanowires. So now that I have the technology to store my data, I also need to find a way to move the bits from the bottom to the top of the nanowire in order to read and write data. For a better understanding of this concept, let me give you an analogy of a tall building. Now, tall buildings wouldn't make sense if you couldn't get from the bottom to the top. Similarly, I need to, uh, I need to move the bits from the bottom to the top, and I achieve this using a unique physics called spin polarized current. So what does this all mean? Well, you can store 100 times more data, and that translates into 100 data centers can be replaced by just one. And thus, this paves the way for a technology at tomorrow that is smarter, and not just smarter, it reduces the carbon footprint. Thank you. <laughs>